Hi everyone. Um, first of all, I want to say thank you for everybody who watched my first video. But this time I decided that I'm going to do a makeup look on my every my everyday makeup look. And this is my make my everyday makeup look when I do do my makeup during the week, which is very rare, but I do do it sometimes because I mean Saturdays and Sundays and sometimes Fridays I do go full out. But um, yeah, so this is going to be my everyday makeup look, okay? Um, please subscribe to my channel, and, um, I hope you like it. So, I always like to start with priming my face, because you always have to prime your face. Whether you're going to go full out, or you're just going to do an everyday thing, doesn't matter what you're going to do, always prime your face. If you have a good face, you're gonna have a good face. Hey, the rhymes! Well, I use my MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. Just spray it around your whole face. I totally sprayed that in my mouth. <laughs> Did not taste good. Let it sit there for a little bit. Make sure you have all your hair out of your face. Anyways, I use the cover effect for my everyday. Um, I do apply it. I used to apply it with the Morphe M439. Um, I started applying it with, with a damn beauty blender. This is the, you find these at Ulta. I forgot what they're called. So I now put it in the beauty blender. And then I just go in Sorry if I keep looking this way, it's just my mirror over here. Anastasia in caramel, the dip brow pomade. Okay, guys, let's go with the Anastasia. I only use very little when it's in every day. Probably only use it just to do the outline. Um, then I go in with the brow definer and soft brow. Okay. Make sure you kind of like smooth it out. Just 
So, um, I don't know if this happens to anybody else, but I've been ranting about it since yesterday. Even on Snapchat. If you have me on Snapchat, add me. Marlene, M-A-R-L-I-N underscore Perez, P-E-R-E-Z. And, um, I've been ranting about it since yesterday, and I don't know if this happens in your houses, but, you know, everybody has street cleaning. So, on Tuesdays you park on this side, or Wednesdays you park on that side, or whatever day you get, you know? Um, there's this lady in the block who has three cars, and sometimes four, because her son sometimes comes. And, um, they have a driveway and they don't use it. And you know how much that gets me mad? Because I don't have a driveway, and I have to be fighting for parking. And it's really annoying. It's annoying because she runs and she takes them and sometimes she gets out of work really early just to come freaking find a parking spot. And yesterday my neighbor beat her to her parking spot. It was hilarious. I was in the car. You saw, if you have me on Snapchat, you saw it. But, oh my god, that was so funny. And then I like to go in with the concealer. I have, I've been using the Naked Skin Urban Decay Weightless Comp. Complete coverage concealer in the color light neutral. I like this better. So I take it out. It's new. And with the little thing, I just go in here with the brush. And then you know, you always have to clean it out. It actually looks different, like they look clean, they look sharp. Really recommend that you always clean it out with a concealer. I think it's worth it. And then you go on the top. Look at it, but see, look at the difference. Look at the difference on eyebrows. Like, I cannot stress it enough. Please conceal. And then you go in with your beauty blender and you blend it out because you know you still have pockets in there. After you do that, I like to go in with my cover of bags and 35 as well. I match my powder with my foundation. I really don't know if I'm supposed to do that or not. To be honest with you guys, I don't know that. But I just do it. And I go in with the Morphe E1. In the elite collection and I go all over the face all the way to the neck down the neck to set your powder as well so it doesn't crease make sure you go into the eyes so it doesn't crease and then you're there. Out. 
to this step of the Anastasia brow gel, clear brow gel. Always clean your, your eyebrows, clean them up and out, up and out, up and out. And they look fuller and thicker and nicer. So that way the little gaps that you had don't show up so much. Have you guys ever seen that meme where it says, um, tag two people that if you were in a dying situation to never call because they will not answer and you would just die? Well, he's one of them. After that, I like to go in and just with like a really simple color, like the Kat Von D, Kat Von D color. Like I said last video, that was my go-to. Um, like Kat Von D shade light. I go in with, again, the one that I told you guys that I had panned with, um, with the lightest pink that is in here, just, you know, and then use it all over your lid. I think it's a really nice, simple color that you can always wear and you can never go wrong with it all the time. All over the lid. And the circular windshield wiper motion, back and forth, and then do it again. Okay, so then after that, I'm gonna go in to curl my lashes. Maybe this. Sorry, I dropped something. Um, I like to first go in with the roller lash from Benefit because the little brush on it is so cute um, and it comes through, it comes through, I really think it comes through and I don't, I'm so let's do this. Just a little bit because I go over it with another um, mascara. Don't make fun of me! I wear, I use this Brosa mascara. Mexi Volume. I got it from Mexico. I bought it in Mexico. So, um, my cousin um, showed me this mascara. I'm not kidding. I am not kidding. You have to stock up because they are rare to find them. You can't always find them. So my cousin showed me this mascara and then I tried it and I was like, ooh, my eyelashes look good. This um, past year that I went to Mexico in October, I was like, I found it and I stocked up and they were really cheap. They were only a dollar and we hear they sell them for five bucks, okay? Okay. Look, look at the the brush on it. I think this bully brush thing you get really cool on it. I really like it. So then I go over it with this. And that's how I do my eyelashes. Sometimes you do get a little mascara on your lips or just go over with the same brush that you use. Nothing on it. Just blend it out. And then I go back in with my Benefit Rolling Mascara and I do the bottom. Because you always have to do the bottom. When you do the bottom, it makes your eyes look a little bigger and it makes them pop. I don't really like um, blush, right? I like to go with a little bit of it just to add some color in it. I 
I went in with the MAC copper tool. This is an old dish. I went in with the E4 brush. Okay guys, sorry. Um, you could never forget your highlight. Always wear your highlight. No matter what kind of look you're doing, if you're trying to go... <sighs> Even if you're going full matte everywhere, just please never forget your highlight. Highlight is life. Remember I found this, the Jacqueline, the Becca Jacqueline Hill, with the pearl color in there. I'm going with pearl a little bit, I think it gives it like a white kind of thing. And I'm going with champagne pop. Um, for the lips, I always prime the chapstick. And um, since it's just a simple look, you probably just want to go with a little lip gloss. I'm gonna go with something that I'm comfortable with, which is the NARS Chelsea's Girl. Chelsea Girls. Chelsea's Girls. Chelsea, Chelsea, Chelsea. Girl, Chelsea, Girl, Chelsea. So, no. This is a lip gloss. I think it's a cute. Like, um, it's like a cute pink. There you go, guys. That's my final everyday go-to look. I hope you guys like it. And thanks for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And again, thanks to everybody who's supporting me and helping me and guiding me through this. And I love all of you guys, and thanks for watching. Bye.